Hi everyone, welcome back. It's time to take on the dreaded wasps. You do not want to underestimate these guys. They may have less health than a ladybird and do less damage too, but these guys are much, much harder to kill. Not only do they have 4 attacks, including a ranged attack, but they are also really hard to hit. They often fly out of range, forcing the player to use ranged weapons to which they are resistant. On top of that, each hive has a wasp drone, which despite having less health than the normal wasps, is decidedly harder to kill. It's almost constantly moving and keeps a much greater distance from the player, because it only has one ranged attack and so has no reason to approach the player. If this wasn't bad enough, it also has healing powers. When it screams, it has a chance to heal itself and all nearby wasps. Its scream also has a chance to apply cutman, meaning the drone and the wasp attacks inflict the bleed effect to the player, which trickles down your health over time. Wasps are also very smart fighters. When fighting more than one wasp at once, they will often flank the player, attacking from the side or behind while the player is distracted with the other wasps. This is why it's best to try and lure one away from the hive at a time, but this can prove very difficult. If we look at the stats, they only have one weakness, which is salty. They're resistant to spicy, chopping, explosive, slashing and stabbing. They're also 50% resistant to gas and 75% resistant to poison, so that's out. I'm going to try out three different weapons on them based on these stats. The Salt Morning Star is the obvious choice. Being salty, it plays to their weakness, and being one-handed, it allows us to carry a shield, which we'll need to block the stinger shots. If we wanted to use a ranged weapon, arrows wouldn't be effective due to their resistance to stabbing. So we'd have to go with a staff. I'm going to go with the sour staff since they have no resistance to it. The club of the mana demon with salt would also be very effective. Because of its sheer power, you can take the wasps out with just a few hits, meaning they have less time to be healed by the drone. So let's see these in action. There are five wasp hive locations before you open the brawny boy bin. These are on the toolbox in the upper grasslands, under the javamatic next to the brawny boy bin, on a large branch next to the fallen log near the stump, in the stump next to the elevated chunk of dirt, and in one of the berry bushes near Maldock's castle. I'm going to start with the salt morning star at the first three locations. So first let's look at the toolbox. I would say this is the easiest location to fight at. The best strategy is to get inside the toolbox. Not only does this protect you from other surrounding bugs, of which there are many, but it forces the wasps to come down to your level, making them easy targets. I'd still try to lure one out at a time though to avoid them flanking you. You can see just how hard they are to hit even when they're down at your level, especially the drone. He's always flying around. It can be really disorienting, even one on one. You'll also want to have Mithridatism active as they do inflict poison. If you are fighting more than one at once, make sure you're focusing on attacking just one. If you spread your hits across more than one wasp, it gives them all a chance to heal. It's best to try and take them out one by one. Don't forget to chop down their hive as well so you can get their wasp paper. With that, you can make a lovely lamp and a lovely partition for your home. So when you analyze their parts, you'll unlock the waspy dough smoothie and you'll also unlock the stuffed wasp and the wasp mount and as I said earlier, the lamp and the partition. So let's move on to the next location. Under the Javamatic is a little harder to fight. I died several times here. You can see just how quickly things become chaotic when you try to fight three at once. There's no way to defend yourself from three wasps while still trying to attack. They fly all around you and hit you from all sides. If you do get into this position, you're probably gonna die pretty quickly. In my next attempt, I tried to create a bit more space and continued retreating throughout the fight in order to keep the wasps in front of me. You can see that the regular wasps do stay within range for parts of the fight. The shield is really necessary to block these stinger shots. 
Another bonus of the Salt Morning Star is that it being a powerful weapon, you have a chance to stun them as well, which allows you to get in some good hits. If they are staying just out of range, don't be afraid to jump in order to reach them or climb on something nearby. I was quite lucky that my drone got stuck on some grass while I was fighting the others and then very kindly floated just above my head allowing me to brush his brains in. To get to the nest itself, you'll need to build to it. I find half clay foundations to be pretty handy. There's plenty of clay lying around this area, so it shouldn't be a problem. After you've destroyed a couple of hives, you'll see this message, followed by this message, which means the next time you go to sleep, you'll see a cutscene of wasps bursting out of the brawny boy bin, which is now open and you now have access to. Moving on to the next location on the fallen branch, this is an extremely difficult fight. Not only is it a very narrow space to move around in, but if you fall off or get hit off like I did, you've got a black ox beetle, fire ants, ticks and ladybirds lurking below. I also died several times here. You've not really got much protection or hiding places around here, so that's why it's absolutely pivotal to take them one at a time here. In the end, it was the poison and bleed inflicts that got me in this fight. And the next. When I came back to pick up my backpack, I managed to get one wasp away from the hive and take him out successfully. Since I was a third of the way there, I decided to go back and finish the other two. I managed to lure the drone away by himself and kill him too. The last one was a piece of cake, even if I did have fire ants nibbling at my ankles the whole time. Now, I have to be completely honest here, this might have been made a lot easier by the fact that just before this, I witnessed a battle for the ages. I heard commotion in the distance, and when I went to investigate, I found a black ox beetle battling an entire fire ant colony. I had never witnessed a battle of such great proportions, and when I thought it couldn't get any more impressive, along came the black ladybird, wanting a piece of the action. Though he fought courageously, the Black Ox Beetle was eventually bested, and the Ladybird had to carry on alone to finish what he had started. Like a peeping tom in the dead of night, I was caught, crouching in the bushes, gawking at the display, mouth agape. After dealing with my whistleblower, I managed to catch the heroic demise of the Ladybird. The fire ants were triumphant. I waded through piles of carcasses to raid their courageous corpses, and fled into the night before I too fell victim to the wrath of the fire ants. There truly is power in numbers. Anywho, back to the wasps. It all seems a bit mundane now, doesn't it? So, we're at the stump here, and it's a very dangerous place to be. We've got ticks, fire ants, tiger mosquitoes, and ladybird larva. And that's before we even get to the wasps. You might want to clear out some of the bugs before you start fighting the wasps. I'm going to try out the sour staff here because it was recommended as a ranged weapon on the wiki page. Let's see how it goes. To be honest, I found the sour staff incredibly hard to use against the wasps. Their projectiles are very small. There were a few times when I thought I'd hit them, but then it ended up just sailing right past them. The projectiles are also very slow moving, meaning it takes a long time for them to reach the wasps. And with the wasps almost constantly moving, it makes them almost impossible to hit. On top of this, all staffs have a delay after firing where you cannot block, making it incredibly difficult to combat the wasp attack. I'm not really sure why the sour staff was recommended to be honest. In the end, I did manage to kill some wasps with it, but it was really difficult. It's worth noting that despite what the wiki page says, you can destroy the nest without alerting the wasps. So if all you're after is the wasp paper to make some lovely lamps, then just go straight for the nest. When it came to the wasp drone, the staff was too slow to keep up with its healing abilities. I was fighting it for 5 minutes and it was still on full health, so I had to go back to the salt morning star to kill him. But even that was difficult, because he was keeping his distance. In the end, I just got lucky with a few good hits. Killing this many wasps? doesn't come without its consequences though. As soon as I got back home after that fight, my base was hit with a raid. The wasp raid on my house was by far the most devastating I'd had. 
they actually broke through the wall and started damaging things inside my house. All those weeks building palisade walls around my base really felt like a huge waste of time now. It took a long time to repair the damage they'd done. By the end, my repair tool needed repairing. But for the sake of research, I had one more nest to take down, and a little raid wasn't going to stop me. We're in the berry bushes near Maldork's castle now. I'm going to try and take this one down using the club of the mother demon with salt. Although we don't have a shield to defend ourselves, this club should be able to kill the wasp in just a few hits, so there really isn't much time for the wasp to do too much damage anyway. With just two hits, we've already taken it down to half health, and with another three hit combo, it's dead. When I tried the club on the wasp drone, it was doing its usual, staying just out of range, so I had to do a lot of jumping in order to hit it. This location is quite difficult because there's nothing to hide under or force them down to your level. So you spend a lot of time swinging at air. But if you persevere enough, you should be able to kill it. The last wasp in this hive really didn't want to die because I couldn't for the life of me get his attention. So I let him live. So overall, I'd say the Salt Morning Star and the Salty Club of the Mother Demon were successful. Don't touch the Sour Staff with the Barge Pole. The Toolbox is without a doubt the easiest place to kill them. Their respawn time is 5 in-game days, so if you only want to kill them at the Toolbox, then you'll have to wait 5 days. Once you've destroyed a couple of hives and opened the Brawny Boy Bin, there are two more hives in there along with the Wasp Queen. So, good luck fighting your wasps. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped you. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!